Welcome back, everyone. Two rival swim teams haven't met in a face-to-face -face competition in the pool this year, but Centennial and Blaine swimmers answered a different sort of challenge at Feed My Starving Children in Coon Rapids. With Blaine swimmers packing meals on one side of the room and Centennial on the other, it was an event that had all the enthusiasm and noise of a swim meet. Here we go. The idea is to capitalize on the competitive spirit to pack more boxes of food. I'm excited for the rivalry between Centennial and Blaine and to bring good to the community. When they're swimming, speed is everything. The same goes for packing food for Feed My Starving Children. Our girls love doing things that are charitable and giving back, and they also love competing, so we like finding different ways for them to accomplish both goals. It's a team building competition that can make a difference in people's lives. I think anytime these girls can do something that's for the greater good, I think that's a, a really good thing. The team members gave up some of their MEA break to pack rice, vegetables, and vitamins in thousands of meals headed to Mozambique. You have picked 7,000 meals already. <laughs> With COVID rules that reduce the packing capacity, speed is important. For Feed My Starving Children, pitting two sports teams against each other is the perfect friendly competition to feed as many people as possible. So we have about half the capacity we used to be able to have in, and so we need people that can really pack fast and like to have a lot of fun. It also comes with a message about helping people who are not as fortunate, in this case, providing meals for people in Mozambique. And we really want it to be eye-opening. We want them to know that, number one, they really are making a difference in a very practical way. Just getting them to pause and really understand how how good we really have it here um, compared to kids all over the world. And that's a message not lost amid the packing frenzy. It takes a little time out of your day to change someone's life, so why not? While these teams challenge each other, they combine to answer a bigger challenge. I mean, you realize that there's other people that are in need, and if we can help another person in need, that's, that's what life is all about. Together, the teams packed more than 22,000 meals, and that's enough to feed 60 children for a year. And for the record, coaches say the kids getting the meals are the winners in this challenge.